So in this video, we'll be talking about Virgo Sun in the sixth house. And if you haven't seen my Virgo Sun general meaning video, then I would recommend checking that out because I cover what Virgo Sun means in a general sense. But to recap that, um, Virgo Sun is about details, organization, and, and perfection. And this is where they shine, and this is their approach to life. And their approach to life is about maximizing resources and, and maximizing returns on investment, especially when it comes to time investments, work, or with um, finances or material. Like, these people are the most materially intelligent sun sign because that's what Virgo is about, being the sign of mutable earth. Mutable is about intellectual or intelligence, and earth is about um, resources. So these people have something very particular about the way that they do things because they do it in a way that will maximize a certain value that they have. Um, and when I say a value, I mean something that they care about. And so if something doesn't align to their values or will not bring some sort of return or will create inefficiency, then these people are not interested in participating in that. Um, or they will lack energy because things need to be in, in alignment with the things that they care about for them to do things. That's what Virgo Sun can also um, create as well um, because it is an earth sign. Now, when it is in the sixth house, this is like a double dose of Virgo energy. So this indicates somebody that you, you are seen for your work a lot of times and what you do in the world. That's how people know about you or that's what... That's how people know you for. And um, you also have a very particular way of doing things. Uh, you're very picky uh, a lot of times. And you like to be in control of organizing things. Because when the sun is both in Virgo and in the sixth house, this indicates that you want to be like a leader, a leader, and you want to push forward um and you have this desire to be efficient or like direct or to the point you don't like to waste time you don't like to mess around and so a lot of times this leads you to take responsibility for things on your own and to do a lot of things on your own or to be like very single-minded um you can tend to be very controlling because you know that you can do things the best out of the group. Like, you just know this. And you know that you can organize things the best. Um, so people may not like that. But you just know that you have a certain objective and you want to be efficient. Um, and you just need people that are okay with you taking the, the lead. Um, so, yeah, you have a zero tolerance for wasted time. And especially for wasted resources. Um, since there's a double Virgo influence, because sixth house is the, the house associated with Virgo, you know, this makes somebody that can be highly mental, like a lot of intellectual, um, jargon going on in your head. And you can f have a lot of mental overload and like information overload because you're always juggling facts, statistics, possibilities, um, and making sure everything is in alignment. Um, so there could be uh, that going on as well. And especially because the sun is like an energy vortex in our chart. It's like an ener energy point. So your sun is creating a whole bunch of mental energy in your, in your mind at all times. Because it's in Virgo and it's in the sixth house. Um, and... Anyways, generally speaking, though, you're somebody that's very good at accomplishing tasks, to-do lists, and at accomplishing work. Um, you can get to the point very fast, and you don't care if people know, or you don't care if people think that you're right or wrong. You just get to the bottom of things, and you just do what needs to be done. That's what it means when it's in the sixth house as well as Virgo. Um. So yeah, that basically sums up Virgo Sun in the sixth house. So if you saw yourself in some way or you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more content.
Other than that, for NATO chart inquiries or readings, I do those as well. And the information for that is in the de description. Other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you guys sometime soon in another video. Peace.